Welcome in, YouTubers, to The Phoenix Project by Aaron Voster, aka The Great Perhaps. I forgot to press record, but basically there was like a, just an intro sequence, a title sequence. And we're in. Let's go. What in the, whoa. Red alert, red alert. The specimen has broken free of our machinery and uh, escaped. We need to catch it before someone sees it and notifies the authorities. Attention. Thank you for the lurk, uh, Sam. This is a code red emergency. Please remain calm and shelter in place. Automatic door locks have been engaged. Follow all safety procedures for a code red emergency as outlined in your, uh, uh, pol your policy and protocol manual. I repeat, this is a code red emergency. Continue to shelter in place. Sir, please remain calm and stay in your lab. You gonna lurk too, Bayburn? Oh, nice to have you here, Bayburn, and I hope you have a good uh, rest of the night. Yeah, yeah, have a good, have a good lurk. <laughs> All doors have been secured at this time, and proper recapturing teams have been deployed. <laughs> good to have you here. It's good to be streaming again. I like having uh, peeps in here and uh, and streaming. This isn't going to look good for my report tomorrow. I should put this window capture below. <laughs> Whoa, crap. That was like all in the right ear. Oh no. The specimen has returned to the lab. It is contained. Can you confirm that you are inside the room? Safe inside the room with the creature, sir. Sir. I, uh, yes, I am safe. The creature has perished. Very well. Attention, the emergency has been contained. Automatic locks have been disengaged. Dispatching biohazard disposal teams to viewing Lab B. It is really funny how both Coda and Aaron <laughs> have created lab-based things based on the rejuvenation. This is the specimen that needs removed. I like this, this is interesting. Yes, sir. You're all set. Don't forget to include the roof in your damage report so you can get looked at overnight. Yes, of course. I'll be sure to file that right away. Make sure you set up the hazard tape on your way out, too. Can't have people working in this lab until it's fixed. Yes, sir. You should be able to find the tape and a floor sign in the storage room. Stay safe. Thank you. Stay safe. So there's like a phoenix, like, that gets born or something? Guess I should grab my laptop and go set up elsewhere so I can take a look at the sample. There's like glass on the floor and stuff. <laughs> Please clean that up, dude. Please. This dude's messy. Aaron's game. Yes, it is. Welcome in, Hunting Swan. How are you? <laughs> oh, I, my oops. My window capture is below other things like the uh, emote wall. There we go. How are you? I might play. I might play your game next if you're still here. But how are you, by the way? Uh, I know that you had a an entry. Um. Oh, page up task list. Okay, grab laptop, put up caution tape and sign. Okay, let's grab this laptop. Oh, mine's just a very small little thing. I wouldn't, I still wouldn't mind playing it. Oh, look, there's a dripping, <laughs> dripping tap there. They're very fun little features, you know. I'm on break. Please don't talk to me about work right now. My brain needs to shut down and reboot before I can get back to the high level of thinking required to be successful with this project. Maybe you should give it a try before you wreck another lab. <laughs> oh, we wrecked the lab. Yeah, we did. We really did. I wouldn't mind trying it, Auntie Swan. How's your day been? Have you recovered properly from the IGMC? <laughs> just gonna keep... I'm just gonna look at my messages real quick. Okay, I didn't push myself hard, so I don't need to recover. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> you know, you, you don't need to recover what you didn't spend. <laughs> That's cool. And how's your main game? Uh, oh wait, you, have you, I can't remember, have you finished your main game? Gosh, there's so many games I keep getting out of touch with. I think, were you the, were you the one who finished and released your main game, or are you still in pro progress? The, Aaron and the others went in. Yeah, they really did, they really did. I, I just played Codapil's one. It's finishing out. Yeah, I still need to play it. I'm sorry, Hunting Swan. <laughs> but I've been, I just came back from a week-long Shadow Fate on Steam. Yeah, I'll put that in my to-do again, because I keep forgetting. Shadow Fate. 
Hope you're not planning on moving your reckless experiments into my lab. Next thing I want is a port to switch. Nice. How long is the game in totality, by the way? Uh, Shadow Fate. It's bad enough having to work next to all that noise. Go sit up in lab E and get back to work. We're on deadline, you know. <laughs> 35 hours. That's a long time. I might not play that on stream then if I do play if if I do end up playing it. Well, because that's I struggle to get through long games on stream because I have so many digressions. And I'm trying to start my own game, but I, if I do play it, I might play it off stream while having something else in the other like a YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. I, especially in the grindy parts. Sure makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like a 35 hour game like without stream that will end up being 100 hours. <laughs> On stream, I think. <laughs> or maybe 70. Yeah, you do that too? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I'll actually probably also pay more attention to it if I play it off stream. I love grinding while listening to a pop. Yeah, I love that too. Is there a bit of grinding in your game? Because, uh, not that it's bad, because I like some games that have grinding. Uh, <laughs> it's tough to work with someone who thinks they should be lab manager, but isn't. it just depends on what kind of grinding. It can, grinding can be fun if it's, you know, interesting grinding. It could be a little harsh. Not everything is so linear, because everyone just assumes grinding has to be boring. I don't think it's forced grinding. Cool. <laughs> I mean, of course you wouldn't design it to be forced grinding <laughs> on, on purpose, but sometimes uh, things unintentionally end up so, depending on player experience. If you need help, Dr. Jado is actually in charge. She's usually in Lab C. Okay. Nice. Lab C, where's that? This one is steak. Does that say steak? Oh, no, this is B. Okay. Oh, is it? yeah, there's a lab. Is this lab C? <laughs> Oopsies, that's under me. Whoopsie. <laughs> Forced grinding. Hello? Why is that sparkling? Oh, because it's not meant to be interacted with. There's a lot of nice maps here. <laughs> I, I, oh no, oopsie, sorry, Aaron. <laughs> oopsie, sorry, oopsie, sorry, Aaron. <laughs> oh no, sorry, Aaron. Let's just pretend that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, the music just went away. Oh crap, what the heck is this? Time your attacks to land as close to the center as possible. Okay. Wow, I didn't even, wow. These are pixelated. Why is there people down here? Let's go, Aaron. <laughs> let's go. Let's do this. First aid kit. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I know Aaron kind of rushed some of the... <laughs> rushed some of this, so I understand why some of this had to be rushed. But it still looks cool. Oh, there's a green overlay. I thought my screen was dirty. <laughs> Wait, why is it... What is this down here? What is this? Oh, we got the lab stand. Cool. I didn't even know we needed a lab stand, but that's cool that we... Oh, cool some stuff down here I just need a dodge I'm too good at dodging that I haven't even got hit by any of them okay never mind night emerged wait where's the thing that you you bonk yeah took me so long to find the basement all oh, right yeah cuz <laughs> cuz you might not be able to see the uh, do you know to see the like the sides of the you're so incredibly dense with street. Me too, me too. I don't know why I got that. Reduce damage taken and recover. Oh, okay, okay. So when I get low, I can use it. I like that they're like squeaky poke things. That's funny. But there's no item. Oh, wait, there is. Uh, yeah, let's, let's rejuvenate. Oh, wow. They, they hit me for the same, like... <laughs> damage that I just healed in one in one turn. Oh no! Why are they so strong, Aaron? Please, please, Aaron, please. Tao, I'm too good at dodging. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the nodders. Thank you for the nodders. Why? Why are they so good, Aaron? Please. HP twenty two. Oh come on. <laughs> Why? I did find the balance a little bit off. Yeah, game over. <laughs> Load game. I didn't even save. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's start this game again. 
Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's start this game again. <laughs> Wait, why is it showing like this instead? Refresh, please. Ah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have to begin from the beginning. No. Here and why. Why didn't you let me save? I didn't think I could... I don't think there was any save point even. Oh well. <laughs> I can tell this wasn't isn't doesn't represent the uh, best uh, that Eren can offer. Uh, because it was very rushed. But um, there is a lot of the cool stuff here. Um, but I know that Eren can do uh, better if, if she has more time. <laughs> or if she is able to use the type. You can save from the menu. Oh, you can? Code red emergency. You can save from the menu. Okay. See, this is a really nice intro. I think this could be a better game if if there's more time put into it. I think it was kind of rushed. <laughs> I think you got a bit unlucky with the two enemies and then the load bug. Yeah. Well, yeah. But yeah, I think I, I just feel like um, what's it called? Like this is such a nice intro, and I know, I know Aaron's a perfection. Oh, not perfectionist, but I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing that the time crunch had something to do with it. Because this is so nice, well paced, really cool. Really cinematic. Oh yeah, we're, Aaron welcomes all critique, and uh, and Aaron also knows that I I don't I don't sugarcoat things. <laughs> she won't have a problem with anything you say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was playing the IGMC entries last time. I was I I, I didn't hold back with the critic, but I I do know it's all constructive, because basically what I'm saying is I do know that uh, she she probably had a lot more that she wanted to do but couldn't achieve at all. Grab laptop, put up caution tape and sign. Okay. We've just we've done this one. Yeah, I know how it is sometimes. <laughs> Test tubes. Wait, grab laptop. We I didn't even do that before I went into the basement, I think. Or was this the laptop that I got? Oh yeah, I have the laptop. Okay, then what's my goal? Put up caution tape and sign. Where's my caution tape? So I don't think I even did that. She's usually in lab C. I don't think I did everything in order. Because I didn't go to lab C at the beginning. Is this lab C? No, I didn't even go here. You go in the basement? Good luck. Even going into the storage room off the main lab hallway always creeps me out. I was speed running, yeah. <laughs> Those failed experiments uh, with no E after the I can be mean. You'll want these. Oh no, I did a, I did a proofreading note to Erin. Oopsie. Erin <laughs> being a proofreader herself. Oh, no, uh, editor herself, I think. I should go block off at lab B before sitting up in here. I wouldn't want anyone getting hurt. That's how you know it's a little bit rushed, I think. <laughs> As if there's uh, editing errors. I'm busy working. Shouldn't you be doing the same? And Aaron's work. Because Aaron's very good at that kind of thing. Let's see, here we go. Put up the caution tape. Oh wait, which one is ours? I personally wouldn't go to basement. Yeah, she's a great proofreader. Yeah, Erin and I have that in common. I love proofreading. I'm a little busy, but I like to help if I can. What do you need? What are you working on? What do you mean, what am I working on? The same project you just set back several weeks, if not months, with your carelessness. The entire building is working on the Phoenix project, so we have a larger quantity of data and can rule out problems faster. Interesting. What do you need? 
Where can I find caution tape? Should be in the storage closet in the central lab hallway on the left. Don't forget to grab the floor sign. Can I borrow some equipment? Absolutely not, at least from my, from my lab. Check the other rooms to see if you have, ex have extra equipment if you want, but you'll be better off checking the basement of the storage room. Just be careful going down there. Some of the... <laughs> <laughs> Some of the failed experiments live down there. I'd imagine they're pretty hostile in their boredom. Why don't they come upstairs? What's wrong? Might be a good idea for someone to take care of them. Aw, take care of them. Give them a hug. Why are we working on this project? Do you ever listen to them? They have meetings, debriefs? No. Do you? It's for a confidential government effort to lower human casualties in war, since these creatures will look and act human, but won't actually be human. There's some sort of loophole that born again humans won't count as a casualty, since their death has already been recorded. They're like old Daleks. <laughs> uh, they compared it to Double Jeopardy and said if it's not fair to be tried for the same crime twice, it's not fair to die twice either. Am I going to be terminated? For what? An experiment backfiring, having unexpected results? Absolutely not. We're kind here, to a point. That's what science is, even though it set the lab back a bit with our work. As long as you record the appropriate data and share it with the team so we can evaluate it for the project, you're doing just fine. I wonder, it makes sense for us to talk like this if we're new here. I didn't quite get the context. I'm trying to read the DNA pattern of the last embryo our lab created. It wasn't anywhere near as developed as it, your lab's was before it terminated, so I want to compare your last data set to ours and see where the differences lie. Of course, you don't exactly want to replicate your specimen either. True, because the Phoenix project, creating an actual Phoenix, that was kind of uh, dodgy. That was kind of uh, not the best. I personally wouldn't go into the basement. Oh, wait, we've already done that. Oh, high voltage. I'm just checking my messages. Okay. Uh, the D lab. I'm busy working. Shouldn't you be doing the same? Nah, I want to chill, dude. I want to keep chilling, dude. Chilling like the villain, dude. I like these little tubes. They're very nice. Block off lab B. Yeah. Let's go block off lab B. And we don't have to go downstairs. Wait. Which one's lab B? This one here. Wait, what? <laughs> lab E brought me here. And lab B brought me somewhere else okay where's the caution tape they said it was in the hallway or something wait where did they say it was forgot this person said uh where's the caution tape again oh crap whoops we can find caution tape storage closet in the central lab hallway on the left okay there's tape on the side okay and i must save there we go i must save it's good to save, but I would say try to make the game prompt you to save, otherwise you won't save. I guess. Oh wait, this is... And it's funny how they say to the left, but it's actually to our right. Say, say if you are like here, <laughs> technically if you're here looking this way, it's to the left. Oh whoops, my bad, just saw there's no... T oh no, don't worry about backseating for this, don't worry. Uh, I should probably not uh, put... Uh, that backseating with uh, RPG Maker games, certain ones. I don't, oh, I think it's it, the backseating one is usually when with like, these super popular games that everyone knows about, and they're like, "Oh, if you go to this spot and do this, then you can do that." Uh, but I, I don't mind with RPG Maker games, especially when they're by friends and stuff. Um. So we got the caution tape and the flawed sign, so we can do the thing. Cool, cool. It is nice sometimes to have a little direction with this sort of thing, but I don't mind this one too much. It's quite nice. Let's place the four sign and the caution tape. And also, it's weird sometimes when it, the, the reason, main reason why I do like yes or no, is when it makes sense to to click no. So if this is a big thing that I say about RPG making and games in general. If you have something like, should I put the caution tape here? Yes or no? It's usually best if you if it's a valuable no. Like, no, not yet, you know. 
Forgot to put the ma main tutorial in my game. <laughs> it's fine. I think Coda had a really good tutorial as you play. Uh, sort of sort of nice tutorial to, to help you get to grips as you play. How's your trip, Benny? It was really good. Uh, we were in Samoa. We stayed at a hotel. Um, it rained sometimes, but it w we went to some waterfalls, jumped off some waterfalls, um, uh, swam in some nice pools. Ate, I ate a German bun, which is basically like a, a really soft bun with some, like, I think it's desiccated coconut inside. Um, really nice, and I was keen. Fix all the machines in Lab E. I was just keen to, like, just chill with my family on that trip. I, I I was actually it was actually a choice. I was going to go uh, meet a couple of other streamers in another country, but um, my dad had his sixtieth birthday, so I decided to go to that. Oh well, I decided. I mean, I had to obviously go to that, and it was nice. It was nice, but I will hopefully meet some streamers in person. Apparently, Spec is coming to New Zealand, so I might just jam with Spec for a bit. That'll be amazing. Slab is even emptier than I expected. I'll have my work cut out for me, searching for supplies so I can get back to the project. Lab supply list. Ooh, fun. Microsoft. Oh, we just have to get the stuff. Ah, this is nice. Okay, I understand this now. Do I have to put them in specific areas? I'm not quite sure. Oh, well, let's save. And here's another thing. I do feel like... If you only have say like save like only put the things that are going to be useful. I don't think we it doesn't look like we're going to use equip for this game. So if that's not useful, then remove it. Uh, maybe status will be useful. Options are useful, but like if there's anything that you don't use, just remove it. Uh, you're always welcome over at the mainland. Yeah, yeah. That, oh yes, in Oz, yeah. We should have a meetup sometime. I think it'll be nice to set a time, set a date, as long as Rig and DZ are okay with it and have a Rig and DZ con. I think that'll be the the best sort of idea. Benny from Benny makes games. Yes, that's me. That's indeed me. Pressure being equalized. Wait, I didn't even want to go here. Why am I going here? What is this? Door locks has been released. Oh, this is like some uh, Blade Runner type stuff. What are you doing out here? You still have several hours left in your work day. If you're leaving early, it needs to be approved by Dr. Jada. This reminds me of Blade Runner 2049. I don't seem to have any approvals here. Okay. Cool. Um, excuse me, sir. You're not approved to leave yet. Your workday is not over. Okay. Makes sense. Maybe eventually we'll get outside. That might be, that might be what we have to do, actually. This is pretty cool, though. I like this. You must prove that you are a human. And then it's just like, boom, nothing. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Marcella Mandy. Gotta fight these abominations. We had to obtain some flasks. Obtain this thing. Let's save here. It is interesting when you can literally just save anywhere, you know? Ah, get out of my face! See, I can just go, okay, let's save. <laughs> let's save here. I mean, it's good for, like, you know, games that are jam games. Ooh, the lab stand. I think that's it, alright. I think that's it. Yeah. If I missed anything, whoops. I don't want to fight anything because it seems like it will just annihilate me like it did last time. Wee. Oops. Ah. Cool. Now, uh, the single enemies were okay from what? Okay, the single enemies. Ah, right. It was just when there's multiple that it's difficult. Okay. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I think I have everything though. <laughs> Stand. Beakers. Microscopes. Finally, everything I need to work is set up in here. Uh, set up should be two words here. Now to work on getting power to those machines. 
Okay, the power? Out of order, coming soon. Turn all of the lights on by pressing confirm while pointing at each panel directly. Okay. Oh, fun. Ah, oh, I like... Okay. Fun. Oh, well, this is fun. <laughs> I like how it's like... <laughs> it's like facing... It's like a cursor facing things. I would have personally made it so that it's like fixed direction cursor. And that... Like it's diagonal, but that's... That, that would just be me. <laughs> but this is cute too. Because you can go like all the way... Oh, you can't go... Oh, you can't go too far. That's that's nice. And you go like under these. <laughs> that's funny. And I'd also probably uh, default to uh, run. To make it like the same speed. Because I'm running right here. <laughs> oh, please, please. I can do this. Ah. Oh, how do we do this? <laughs> oh, no, I'm bad at this. This is bad news for Benny. Bad news for Benny. Oopsie. Come on. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. No! The sheer intellect on display right now. Clearly, clearly. Uh, <laughs> clearly. No. Clearly. Clearly the intellect on display right now. Just, oh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was funny. This machine is now in perfect working order. Yay, what a day. Time to go home. <laughs> I saw myself turn into a person before leaving that. Bro, just do the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Woo, we did it. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go. Wait, what do I have to do? Anyway, good luck. I, I, I like it. I say there's the... I was going to say, I like it that there's the, uh, what's it called? Objectives in the top right, but no, when I pressed page up, there was uh, nothing. So I guess it just means go home. I would have liked it if I pressed page up and it said go home. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't let you be on this point without prior approval. Do you know who we are? I don't think you understand who we are. No, I completely understand who you are, Representative Chicane. Regardless of your position, like I've already explained, you cannot walk in and demand to enter a private establishment with security protocol in place. There are systems to go through and approve a- I don't care about your approvals. I'm a blonde looking guy who's got long hair. Cute. You will let me in to speak with whomever is in charge right now. Or else. That was a direct threat to my well-being, so I'll be calling the police now. Unless you'd like to change your mind and remove yourself from the premises voluntarily, of course. You. Me? Yes, you. You just came out of that door so we can you can get back in. I'm gonna turn down the music just a little bit. It's a little loud right now. <laughs> it's nice, though. I need someone to take me into the full laboratory so we can speak to the management about an offer from J Judge Mandalay that your people won't want to refuse. My people? The Mandalorians. Regardless of whatever that means, I don't have the authorization. Whoa, he got really angry. <laughs> How embarrassing. I don't know what came over him. I've never seen him act that way before. I don't know it doesn't mean much coming from us, but sorry about all of that. It's okay. He's not the first man in a position of power uh, who stormed in here and demanded entry. Oh. I doubt he'll be the last. Unfortunately, I don't think that will even be the last you see of him. Getting his hands on this project is all he's been talking about for weeks. Our paperwork was just publicly filed with the state a little over six weeks ago. This project is still in its infancy. But Judge Mendeley sees it on day one as part of the approval process. He and Representative Chicane took an immediate interest 
uh, and Senator Price overheard a conversation about it, so he's looking for an end too. Um, quite a few games do struggle with audio normalization. Yeah, it's true, it's true. You have to really play test it and make sure everything's okay. One person, one RPG maker developer is really good with that is Riggy. Riggy's really good at making everything nicely fit in the ears, and I hope I will be too when I finally make games. Like, my big game. <laughs> I, I really want sound to be so great. Uh, and there's nothing that motivates Chicane more than impressing Senator Price and Judge Mendel. Anyway, sorry again for that. <laughs> and any other trouble that follows. We really just came along in case he did anything worth filming, so we'd have something to sell to the news. Oh, so they weren't with them. That was like reporting and stuff. Nice. Have a good night, I think. That was interesting. People are pretty passionate about the possibilities our lab's project can bring. They don't understand that the earlier stages are still experimental and likely to fail. Don't remind me. Your passion for the project is different. You know better than to make it personal. These outsiders put their whole heart. Uh, hi again. I'm Representative Chicane's intern. He, uh, he just wanted to let you know that Senator Price will be going through the process to come and visit it. I mean, receive a tour of the premises tomorrow. He'll expect you to be ready for his arrival. Very tense. Ah, uh, that's it. <laughs> Goodbye. Chapter 2 Reconceptualize Four paths lie ahead of you, each one containing a unique challenge to do. How you complete them will help you do well. Full stop. Then you'll escape from the dreamland with your desired intel. Okay, dreamland? Dreamland much? Wow. Your father is the cause of your attention. The devil's in the details and he's claiming your attention. This should be fun as you go on your hunt, collecting the pieces and bringing his secrets to the forefront. If it is strength you possess, enter here for a fight. You'll find it quite taxing on your smarts and your might. Stream this streamlet is really cool looking. It's pretty, really nice. As a first task, you'll find quite the challenge here, but come through here later and it'll be easier to clear. Do you heed the warning? I'll heed the warning for now. So I guess I'll enter there later. Your mind's walls are no match for this maze. The switches you press will open the way. Don't be distracted by the information you accrue. Remember, the only way out of this horror is through. You're currently facing overwhelming grief. I intend for this game to offer some relief. This path leads to a photo as broken as your heart, carefully deconstructed and completely torn apart. Let's go this photo away first. Hopefully, oops, I didn't save. Hopefully it'll be okay. Cower. Oh, I didn't mean, I, I was trying to smack, smack first, but it's okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, I forgot I had to do that. Okay, let's uh, smack. Try some, try some smack, Mingli. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a uh, an emoji. I will try. I will definitely try. Oh no! Oh, I can't even. Oh, there we go. Use an item. Use a first aid kit. Please spare me. Oh, that's better. That's better than nothing. Oh, that's better than our previous fight. I think what's happening is that uh, you need when balancing battles, be aware that more enemies is one of the biggest ways to make a fight unbalanced because the more turns the opponent has it's such a big advantage usually in games like this oh healing after a battle nice thank you thank you for that rearrange the tiles to reform the photo be sure to point at the tile in the direction you want to move oh Aaron please not the no Aaron please Please, no! Please, no! Aaron, please, no! Not this puzzle. I hate this thing. Oh. Thank you, N-O-P-A-S. Thank you, N-O-P-A-S. Thank you. <laughs> no, welcome in, N-O-P-A-S. Oh, no, not this puzzle. How are you, N-O-P-A-S? Hopefully you're doing well. <laughs> I hated these things as a kid. I've always... Man, sometimes I like them, but 
Oh, the pieces move slowly. Erin, please make them move faster. You know we want them to move faster. The combination of this cursor style, where you have to make it face the right way, and also uh, the pieces moving slow. Erin, please, please do my heart justice, please. <laughs> doing better than you, it seems. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm just exaggerating it up for uh, effect, but see like all right peeping yep oh, sorry I have to open them I have to open the door But it's just like having a soaker band puzzle in your game or something like but like the b the boulders move slow thank you for the rip beanie by the way so my, my brother was just asking me if i wanted some food but i'm fine uh it's just like yeah i'm i'm very passionate about puzzles i'll just have you know i, I created some puzzle I, I create a puzzle game and i love puzzles i'm very passionate about the implementation of puzzles an RPG maker. That's why I lamented. <laughs> that is why I lamented for Erin, but uh, let's push that up. Because there's always a way to make an innovative and interesting puzzle, you know? And please, not this puzzle, Erin, please. Oh, wait. I should move these over. Oh, Erin. <laughs> I, I love Erin, but this puzzle, this puzzle type hurts my soul. I am breaking it. Um. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Um. Hurting me soul. Okay, push that one up. Push this one over, I guess. There's a few issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few. Th yeah. It's never... It hasn't particularly been an interesting uh, uh, test of skill. But if you add some minor uh, UI issues on top of it, it doesn't really help too much. The black and white abstract nature makes it hard to see. Yeah, that too. That too. Uh, and I think it's just the, 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 the cursor type is the thing that's really doing me in right now. Uh, Aaron... I can teach you. I can teach you some things with the cursors. I honestly can. Please, please. <laughs> no complete image. Yeah, but I guess the no complete image is something you can like, fig one of the skills is you can figure out what it actually is and try and uh, sort it based on uh, what you think it is. Because I know it's a phoenix, but like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The main, the main thing is the, this this moving around cursor thing <coughs> if you had like a cursor that was fixed and that you press something to pick a piece up and then and then moved it oh yeah this is gonna take a long time this really is gonna take the longest it really is gonna take the longest time in the world wait can i do this no i can't It's creative though, and it must have taken so much work to make. I think each of these are an event. So it is pretty much a soccer ban uh, with edges. And as a dev, yes. A give, give, wait, give me up, give up, give me up? What does this mean? Give me up. I'm pressing shift, there's nothing happening. Give me up? Do you want to give me up? <laughs> Never going to give me up, yeah. This will continue your attempt for this puzzle and you'll be unable to return for another attempt, yeah. So, um, the idea, I think the idea is that it was a little bit rushed. And I think, uh, this game in general, uh, and, uh, because Aaron told me that, uh, 
not rush, but like she was just trying to get it in time. So the very fact that it's finished is worthy of praise, you know. <laughs> like, hey, it's finished is a good thing, but uh, um, polishing could happen. <laughs> the totally, yeah, the Phoenix Project t confidential procedure, which is a compliment to Erin because I know, I know, um, if she had more time, she'd be able to do do more, you know. <laughs> Procure DNA sample from initial subject. It's been found that fresh samples are much more viable to producing living specimen. Lice cells with blah 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 Something like that. Oh, I like that. You can go behind it, and you could, but you can also still see yourself. Wait, why did I just willingly walk into this glitch's arms? Smack barrage. Oh, okay. Time remaining. I can't see anything. Oh, you just press alt. Wait, what do you press? Do you just press nothing? Uh, press everything. What do you do? Press the keys on screen within a time limit to deal damage to all enemies. Okay, press the keys on screen. Oh, left, left, left. I didn't see those before. What? There was nothing. There was literally nothing. If I, I think, was was I wrong in that? Up, oh, right down. Oh, oops. Okay. Oh, the skill is glitch first time user. I get it. I get it. Nice, nice. No, not nice, but hey, it's unavoidable uh, unless you fix it. <laughs> this is a cool little mini game for an attack. I like that. Very fun. Very cool. First aid kits. This is a cool. I like the look of this area. Very cool. Very fun. First aid kit. Venus Project observation sobriety attempt to regenerate cell growth from the sample results varied wildly but they were ultimately inconclusive it's important to note that trying to maintain an environment for the sample at 56c to 60c was not only unsustainable for the lab long term and impossible to maintain for the mass production that is required for the intended output of this project it also caused the sample to grow a dangerous new species of bacteria that causes severe respiratory illness when inhaled see appendix j for details okay Oh, oh, sorry, Aaron. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Aaron. I keep breaking Aaron game. The CO2 level is equally important for the viability of <coughs> the specimen. I like these paper things. They're nice. A 5% CO2 must be maintained for the duration of the initial growth. When lower than 5% CO2 for any extended period of time, the sample will lose its identity. It will, however, continue to grow in size, following an ad ad identical trajectory to the viable samples. When higher than 5% CO2, the growth rate is highly accelerated. The cells expanded beyond their capacities, and paradermal tears were often observed. Paradermal? I don't even know what that means. Using these cool words. Initially, the sample was consistently surviving for 13 days in the carefully controlled environment as long as they were not being disturbed. However, in an attempt to remain in compliance to the 14-day rule, we attempted to relocate the specimen with an E instead of an A to a larger environment. It was neither large enough nor strong enough for such an invasive interruption, and within hours of the transfer of the specimen with an E instead of an A had expired. After being approved as an exception to the 14-day human embryo limit, the specimen with an E was able to exceed expectations. Nice. This is the story. This is the backstory we get. Pretty cool. Was that all of them in that area? <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. Now welcome in, Aaron. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for letting me play your game. Every game's a gift. Every game's a gift. You know how I am with you know how I am with proofreading. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Sorry, Erin. I was just half raging over your sliding puzzle because I hate those things. But you're doing well. And this is lovely. And I am so happy that you finished a demo for this. You submitted something, which is what happens, what matters. And I know you would have polished things if you had more time. Welcome in. I uh, love you very much. Good to have you here. And um, yeah, I'm liking this game so far. I particularly think its strongest point is the atmosphere and story at the moment. The story you're trying to craft and things, the feeling of this oppressive sort of uh, environment and labs and mystery and intrigue that is happening here. So I like that portion of it. 
there's some gameplay things that I think could be tweaked, and I think that might be the area in which you sort of rushed. I've also noticed some, you know, parts where I've walked through your map, which we're trying, which we're ignoring for now. <laughs> but this is cool. I, I literally made a game that was sort of like this. So, uh, you by doing this sort of thing, you're stepping into good territory. Wait. Oh, one. Okay, that's confusing. Uh, this thing here. I know it goes up, which is intended, and then it goes up and then back down, which is Arnold. Arnold, Schwa Ar uh, hey Arnold. Um, that door is possessed. Yes, it is. Phoenix Project. Uh, when nothing else produced significant, desirable results, we reverted to what we know as about mammalian cell growth. Despite the initial process thriving in far higher temperatures, once the growth has begun, specimen seems to take on more typical characteristics and will only continue the replication process in temperatures of 35, 37 Celsius. 30, 56 Celsius temperature seems only to operate as a catalyst to resuscitate the deceased rather than an ideal environment for life. 22nd of September of 20. Ooh. But yeah, I'll be quiet now. No, you, do, you don't need to be quiet. It's not too bad. <laughs> I, I actually like the fact that you're here and appreciate you. Because I'm not judging you for uh, the contest, <laughs> so you can you can speak up if you'd like. But it's okay if you you can be quiet as well. It's if you want to. <laughs> it's all good in here. Oh, glitch emerged. There's glitches in the system. This is a fun thing. It glitches out every first time you do it, but uh, it's it's a glitch. It's it's with theme. It's in, on theme. And I know you would have probably uh, polished more if you had more time. <laughs> I know that feeling. I definitely know that feeling. Oh, crap. See, these these battles, they could be really harsh. Yeah. So I... Oh, I forgot to save. Oh. So I know this is not the absolute... Uh, I saved decently. Oh, I did save here. Yeah, that's better. Uh, but I, I know this isn't the be-all and end-all of your uh, ability. This doesn't represent what you can make. This is just something that you made in a rush. And I appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> and there are some... Uh, there are some... What's it called? Uh, flickers of, brilli of brilliance here, which I am makes me excited for your game. Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, which makes me excited for your game. Thank you. Well said. Thank you. We've read that. And we know to save now. Like, one of the things... Uh, it's good for feedback anyway. One of the things I think this game could benefit from is uh, less options up here, I feel, and more in-game save points. Things being in-game. Uh, because we don't really use equips at all, so we don't need that uh, thing. So I th there's things I feel like you would you would have uh, changed if... Because it's a very minimalistic game so far, so I don't think we need all that much. But uh, I'm just glad it exists. But these are just things that it's nice to still talk about anyway when it comes to designing games. That was my main fear of taking part. Being judged as a dev based off just this get jam. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I know that feeling. And I'm not judging you based on this game. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can... Oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah, oh, sorry. That wasn't Aaron talking. That was Hunting Swan. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not judging Aaron's abilities based, but there, I, I'm getting hyped for some of the strengths that I can see here. And I think one of the biggest strengths is sort of, uh, world building and atmosphere. I think that I, I would love to see, I think if, if the new Aaron game sort of, uh, emphasizes world building and atmosphere, uh, I think that would be really nice. And, uh, I, I think I haven't really got a good taste of what gameplay in a in an Aaron game would be like good call i definitely want to rework the menu completely but i need a more time elsewhere yeah yeah um because i don't think this is the best uh example of what a good uh Aaron gameplay game would be like but the vibe and the story uh that anytime i'm in a cutscene, for example i feel like it's working on all cylinders and it's just really great and i love it after using the centrifuge fuge sorry the sample separates as expected. However, at a standard incubation temperature of 37 Celsius, it did not. Blah 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 blah. I was reading. I was just reading quickly, so we yeah, I was reading in my mind. 
My judgment is no character named Dracula. There's no character named Dracula, sadly, here. Moss would include a character named Dracula. Uh, ATKM gameplay looks sick, though I miss the detachable heads. I haven't seen any gameplay for uh, ATKM. Uh, I haven't stuck around long enough for that. Maybe that's the girl's name, Moss. Oh, very true. It could be the girl's name. Dracula. If it is strength you possess, enter here for a fight. Yes, the suspense, the intrigue. You'll find it quite taxing on your smarts and your might. You may slay. Slay, girl, slay. Girl's name is girl. That's probably true. Have my games been as fun for you as they have for me? This is me. <laughs> Sorry. This is me. This is me as a game developer. <laughs> I have to screenshot this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I might post on Twitter. <laughs> this is me as a game developer. Have your have my games been as fun for you as they have been for me? <laughs> of course, giving credit to this game. I don't know. It's really lovely. I might not post it, but hey, <laughs> it's just I like I like having it there. I might post it in the Discord. <laughs> it's lovely. Actually, don't answer that. I can't have, handle this appointment if you haven't had fun. Oh, it's an actual developer meta commentary. You're already halfway done. That's a great success. As is the case with any good guardian of a secret, you'll have to prove first your wits, then your strength. With each correct answer, you'll be rewarded in a way that heavily benefits you and contributes to your likelihood of winning. This might be like, um, he's the game, de this person's the, this glitch is the game developer of this realm. D757. I'm having a freaking blast with Shadow Fate. Been grinding and do the temple level where you fight the telepathy boss is dope. I, yeah, I was just telling Hunting Swan that I might play the game off stream. If I play it on stream, it might have to be what, when I've got a little bit of work done on my game. Yeah, it might be a little... It might be because I'm already playing Prayer of the Faithless and I have to write this Therapist My Manager essay, which is like 30% done. Well, the final draft is 30% done. I believe I will have it completed hopefully by the end of this month uh which is like an hour-long video essay about therapist mind manager i'm really excited about that uh moss says we don't know how much fun the dev had doing this so very arbitrary question well i could just ask it right now didn't spell it right uh hunty says oh wow that's awesome yo welcome riggy welcome in benny home i'm home and i'm playing aaron's game uh phoenix project literally the best rpg game rpg maker i'm guessing yeah my favorite RPG Maker games are Therapist Mind Manager. Um, what's it called? Amori. And Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. And then I don't know. There's some games that are like uh, I'm biased towards. Like Riggy's Deluge. By, De by Deluge now. And uh, like A Ghostly Rose by ZDS. It's hard to say how biased I am because they're my friends. But they are also some of my favorite favorites um but it's mostly because I'm, when i'm playing i'm thinking of the person <laughs> i'm like i love this creator um it's literally the best rpg game i've played so far and also dog eat dog by coda pill i'm looking forward to that ricky 2 gave from ricky franchise yes uh hunting says it means so much to me yeah when people play your games it can be the best thing right ricky of deluge uh morning ricky morning to ricky new ricky dropping yes welcome in ricky Seek, and Seek Magician. Yeah, I haven't played Seek Magician. Uh, uh, I I actually told Moss I'm going to play Moss games on a stream. Yes. I need to play Seek Magician. And Shadow Fate. With each correct answer, you'll be rewarded in a way that heavily benefits you and con contributes to your likelihood of winning. You won't be penalized for a wrong answer outside of not receiving your rewards. It's a must play? Yeah, it looks really cool. I, I feel like I'll only know if I play it. They're both must plays interesting interesting you won't be penalized for wrong answer outside of not receiving your rewards oh riggy actually you've played a lot of igmc games what would you say is your favorite um apart from your game <laughs> and your friends games i don't know i played code pills one code pills one was great what was your favorite from your non-friends because it'll be hard to <laughs> prioritize your friends ones. <laughs> you won't be penalized for a wrong answer outside of not receiving blah blah let's get started without a bridle there is a map in Seek Magician. Oh, a map. I love maps. Without a bridle or saddle, across a thing, I ride a straddle. And those I ride by help of me, the almost blind I made to see. Without a bridle, I ride across a thing I ride. And those I ride by help of me, the almost blind I made to see. I do not know. 
this means. You can update the map? Oh, I don't know. A pony. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Hopefully, next question goes better for you. White bird featherless. Flying out of paradise. Think I think in need life eternal and vita viridis are my top three. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at those ones. I want to play. Di I think I'm gonna play Diary or uh, what's their name? Uh, S City Dreamer. Their game Hand of the Goddess. I really like slimes, and I'm really looking forward to playing that game. Uh, my favorite from non friends so far is Vita Viridis. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll 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 put that I'll put that. Aaron Aaron said those, and then. Uh, uh, hunting swan said Vita Veritas, so I might try a Vita Veritas. White bird featherless, flying out of paradise, flying over sea and land, dying in my hand. It's like an eagle song. Um, let's see, white bird, seagull. Still have 92 to play. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, hopefully next question. Last opportunity to prepare. You haven't tried that one? Yeah. Hand of the Goddess, like, their last game, Slimes, was so amazing. Also, try Amethical. The other one I've tried is Amethical, and of course, that ZDS, and it's always good. It might not be my favorite ZDS game, but it is quite fun, and it actually was sort of like the Coda game in a way. Yeah, but like, I do like ZDS' storytelling. Very cool storytelling. But I think ZDS just took it really, uh, really, uh, Really light on that one. A mythical is great. Nice. ZD is a good friend of mine. It's hard to, not to be biased towards him. <laughs> what is something that belongs to you? What is, what is used by everyone else? What belongs to you? Use it. My time. Tough luck. <laughs> Aaron, I suck at these riddles. Um, welcome back, Taum. Welcome back. Make sure you're in the best possible condition and then approach me again to begin our battle. Stop having so many friends. It makes you so biased. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's unfair. It's thing is, I've made a game. I'll show you the game I made with uh, ZDS. Um, where is it? Screen one. I made a game called Amort. This is a while ago. And I made another game, but it's not released. This is my game I made with uh, ZDS and Superstroke and SB. I really like it. It's a black and white game called Amort. It was made for a jam. Uh, it's got a vibe, but it's kind of unfinished, and it's kind of, yeah, ZDS calls it his worst game. It's like one of my best games. <laughs> but I haven't even made my good games yet, so. Stop hearing friends so you can play my game. That's true, I should play your game. Anyway, let's get back to the, uh, screen here. Beam. Oops. Beam. Oh, 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 what am I doing? Here we go. I'm looking forward to this. King Glitch emerged. Okay. Smack Barrage. Oh, that's right. It always glitches out the first time. Failure. Smack Dang Barrage. No effect on girl. Okay. Let's try um, Smack Barrage again. Up, left, down, left, up, up. I'm good at this one. Oh, they took no damage? Why? Oh, girl was defeated. Welcome to terrible balancing. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try again. Do I have to level up? Aaron, what level should I be before fighting this one? Just let me know. <laughs> Might have forgotten to test if you get all the rules wrong. <laughs> Minimum of level... Oh my gosh, level four? Okay, let's try let's try leveling up. Wait, I can't go down here. Because you need a third attack to do any damage. Oh right, right. Sheesh. Let's let's grind some. Do some grinding. Oh oops, I didn't even make to pay attention, but that's fine. Okay. This is going to take a while. <laughs> this is going to take a while. I can tell you the riddle answer so you gain three levels fast. Oh, three levels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell me the answers if you want. Yes, please. <laughs> I 
I think you, I think in future you would balance this a bit better. I feel like the riddles are. Wait, let me try them one more time. Glasses, snow, name. Oh, okay, okay. You don't say that. So what is this one? Without a bridle or a saddle, cross the thing I ride a straddle. Oh, okay. The almost blind made to see makes it a bit easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, glasses make sense. Already nerfed him a lot. <laughs> plus one level, plus... I do have an older version of the game. I forgot to re-download, but... Wait, I like those little notes in the top left. Pretty cool. White bird featherless flying out of paradise. Flying to the... It's, oh, it's snow. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that second one. I might have got that first one, but I don't think I would have got that second one. Final question. Oh, yeah, name. That's, a, that's, a, that's an easier one. I think the second one is the hardest one. Why does snow fly out of paradise? Because it does. <laughs> because it does. What is your favorite color? <laughs> one loosest nature. Nature I bangle. Ooh. Let's save before we go in. Uh, Ludus Naturae. I guess we optimize. Oh, Lucis, sorry. Nice. <laughs> why, do, why does snow fly out of paradise? Because of all the ice! That's from uh, Batman uh, Returns. I took it as sky being paradise, but it's technically intended to be religious. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Time to break the ice. Um, slaps of pain. Is this the one that we have to do? Yeah, I wouldn't really do anything where an entire, you know, uh, level below, you won't be able to do any damage at all. But that's just my personal opinion on the matter. And every time they attack, it takes away half my HP, so the healing just really does nothing. Oh, except when they do that, they choose the, the not cool one. Oh yeah, that wasn't supposed to be like that for sure. <laughs> Ooh, so we just have to keep healing until they use the, the, the silly attack that does nothing. Okay, let's go. Welcome in. Oh, sorry, not welcome in, Hunting Swan. <laughs> Thank you, Hunting Swan, for the cool emotes. Okay, let's heal. <gasps> but the question mark. <laughs> Girl was defeated, and I am also defeated. Mamma mia. If I had more, like, time, I would, um, get, like, an actual flute. That would be really cool to do. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. I'm looking forward to this. Let's try again. Slaps of pain. More slaps of pain on your face. This is going really well. This playthrough here. Yeah, we like this. Girl attacks is one word. <laughs> Girl attacks. Time remaining. Okay, let's heal. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna complete? Are you gonna continue with this game, uh, Aaron? Or are you gonna go with um, the other game, All the King's Men? Wow, I was expecting you to be strong, but that was impressive. Outside of the experience you've already gained, I suppose I owe you the reward for defeating me. The snippet of a conversation should fit the bill. It's still a wire that's sparking all the time. Why don't they repair that wire? I'm glad you've taken an interest in our lab, Senator Price, while this spark goes in front of my face. Please, call me Perry. Perry the platypus, no. 
I, oh, right, Perry. Joe, turning focus may, may mostly back on ATKM primarily, but I want this to be finished by the end of the year. Okay, I would have a couple of tweaks, uh, but they would be actually big tweaks. Not big tweaks, but just with the puzzle. The icon, you know how the icon you move and you face the thing that you want to interact with? Would it be possible to make it fixed direction icon that's maybe like a little like this, like how you have a normal like cursor and then when you touch it, you lift it and then you can slide it and then you can let it go or something like that. That would make the puzzles a lot easier to do in general because otherwise you're kind of twisting around like this all the way, like the fixed direction. You know how you have like this mouse, I'll show you, like, you know, like, dit, 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 dit. that would be one of, one thing that I'd change. And then I guess the combat balancing, but everything else seems fine. All right, my dude, have a nice stream. Got to get back to work. Good to have you here, D7. Good to have you here. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm just going to check if my messages are okay. Yep. Yeah, good to have you here, D7. I appreciate your presence. A uh, very legendary creator in our midst. It's not often that we get the attention of people who are encouraging our project. I'll actually, go, I'm going to shout them out. Shout out, D7. Go follow them. They do cool stuff. It's not often that we get the attention of people who encourage our projects. Usually it's protesters and probably misinformed ones at that. Exactly. I think I need to turn this music up now that because it was a little quiet before and now it's loud, uh, loud before, but now it's quiet. Of course, part of the blame for that falls on the shoulders of the lab. Possibly. I had a much smoother control system going for it and then the puzzle just stopped working. Okay. <laughs> you know, you didn't touch it. It was weird. This one was last minute. Held <laughs> together by duct tape. Well, they, that, that makes sense. Um, and I'm sure that I just want to make sure that that would be improved in the release and uh, if, if it is going to be a long-term thing. And yeah, it seems like you're onto it, um, which is cool. Of course, part of the blame for that falls on the shoulders of the lab. But I definitely have not some improvements for it. I'll give it a go. Yeah. And some people just don't mind. They're just like, I'm going to drop this and go back to my main project. <laughs> you know, uh, depends on what you want to do. Nothing looks more suspicious than an NDA when you're working with regenerative cells. Right. So this is the main hall to the lab. There's individual workstations down the halls to the left and the right, but this is where we come together to collaborate. I'm not really sure what else to show you, if I'm being honest. I'd bring you to my lab and show you what I'm growing, but my sample... The experiment failed recently, and I have to start over. I don't have anything to show other than what looks like empty trays. Actually... It's your failed experiment that got my attention. <gasps> the Phoenix Project? What? Okay, how so? Your contact on the recruitment and retention committee, Sergeant Cooper. Do you know him? I, yes, of course I know him. He and I were having lunch on this side of town a few days ago, in the park about three blocks east of here at Toasted. You've been there? It's real good. I love the Reuben. <laughs> and they make their chips in-house every morning. I've heard of it, but no, I've never been. I'm sorry, I don't see how this relates to my project. <laughs> the, the wheezing laugh. So, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, the weight of my heart is clearly through a good sandwich. While we were talking, he might have let a little more information than he should have slipped, and he men mentioned you'd, you've been really successful with your experiment so far. I have been, yes. Or at least I had been until this recent setback. He's excited for the way your work could completely restructure how the military is run, even if it would cost him his job. Minimizing true casualties is one thing we all want, but haven't had a way to accomplish. You have a, you, you have a concrete answer to how we can actually do that. We could always just not go to war. <laughs> Smart and funny. You're the whole package. Your wife must be proud she tied you down. Is he into that? Interesting. I'm not married. What? And I'm still not quite following. Listen, I'm going to get straight to the point. This, pro <laughs> this, this project, it could change lives. Think of all the families whose kids want to go into the military, but they're afraid they'll never come home. Who isn't? <laughs> <laughs> they'll never have to face that again. We can take the programs, the education, everything except the combat, and continue improving the population without the fear of being killed defending the country. Uh, it wasn't a coincidence that you and Coda both made lab, uh, lab dramas. <laughs> Conspiracy lab dramas. <laughs> They're both good, by the way. Everyone, I do mean everyone, would benefit from you going public with this. 
hundred percent coincidence. <laughs> it's great. It's like you both, you know, synced up with your ideas somehow uh, telepathically. Okay, the link to that and this is still eluding me, and we're definitely nowhere close to going public. Years from it, in fact. Technically, Ricky's game was uh, conspiracy related too. Think about it. You're creating people, people with no immediate ties to a family. They've already been grieved for. They were already gone and forgotten in the minds of those who knew them. Sometimes I think he and I are the same person. That's what the co-conspirators would say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That digs one. If they die on the front lines, there's no one left behind back home to face their repercussions. In fact, there are no repercussions to their deaths. There are always repercussions. These people, first, they're not fully human yet, and we have no guarantee that they ever will be. But even if we progress and are successful enough that they are, we're not just dreaming up a new entity. They're pulled from DNA of someone who was once alive. You say no one will be left behind to grieve these creations, but imagine seeing someone you loved and thought you'd lost suddenly alive and well again, just walking down the street. This is a lot. I, I, will go, I gotta say. It's lovely. It's got a good vibe. But it's a lot to dump. <laughs> this is a lot of information all at once. It is a good conversation though. And it is gripping me. But it is a lot. I'm processing some of it. What happens there? <laughs> More laughing. <laughs> we keep them out of view of the general population, of course. They'd be in training or in service full time. But you also touched on why it's so important that this project go public as soon as possible. It's not meant to be this long, just need it to end. Oh yeah, 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 I get it. Think about it, loved ones gone before their time. Well, I've been playing this for an hour and 10 minutes. It's a decent length entry. Your lab is in the unique position of being able to reverse that, to turn back the hands of time and offer second chances. With all due respect, Senator, I don't think that's a very good idea, especially in the near future. Something like that would take years and years of testing and observations to make sure the specimen will remain stable. Otherwise, it would just be reopening fresh heartbreak. People would pay. You would be rich. Your whole lab... Well, this pulls over from the next chapter. Oh, I see, I see. Your whole lab will be set for life. No, forever, because no one would ever have to die. About where everything stops moving. I see. I'm sorry, sir. I just can't see a program like that being feasible in our lifetimes. My playthrough was like double the length, but most of it was me not find the basement stairs. Yeah, it's understandable. Like, sometimes it's hard to find things like that. <laughs> I like that emo emote too. It's funny with the ears and the uh, cigar. It's, it will be. You'll see to it that it is. And my recently deceased wife will be your first civilian obligation. See, this is all getting... I'm like trying to put it all together in my mind. It's blowing my mind. Oh, I'm standing on top of the bed, on top of the pillows. Dad? To be continued. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Oops. Oh, I pressed, I pressed Z by accident. I just skipped the credits by accident. That's not how you sleep. No, I, unfortunately, I don't sleep uh, by uh, stepping, uh, st standing in my bed. But yes, awesome. Every game's a gift, and I feel like uh, this game has some flashes of brilliance. The references will pull the credits if you want to see them. Okay, okay. I'll turn it down just a teensy bit, because I want to talk over it. Thank you for playing this. Uh, for playing this? For being here while I play this. Um, yeah, this game has flashes of brilliance, and it has a story and an atmosphere that's clearly been well thought out. You'll def watch the VOD back to grab notes. Nice, nice. I'll just do a summary, uh, just in case. Um, it is pretty loud here. It's got a nice backbone for the world building and everything to feel like it should carry out to a full-length game. And there is this nice parallelism between the uh, lab work and this girl that in this in this world. And there's a lot of labyrinthian tensions in particular i think the strongest moment of the game for me was the argument at the desk between these people trying to barge in um and and get into the facility and seeing the conflicts between characters play out in real time that was the interesting part for me um some of the scientific nature of uh, how things work is not as interesting to me because it also sort of went over my head now i'm a tester and moral support 
thank you. Yes, mysterious scientific contributor. There is a yeah, fantastic credits. Yeah, um, there's a lot of. I would say at the moment it gets dumped on you really quickly, and I think it could be a little slower because there's a lot. Uh, especially at the end of chapter one there, where it just goes, blah, 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 and I'm like, whoa, 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 there's so many twists and turns. Ah, uh, it just really, uh, oh, I like those meteors. Gamers don't like science. All my faves in the credits, gang. Yeah, the credits are fantastic. It's good to have good folks. Um, and it's a very mysterious vibe. It's very nice. There's like laboratory, you know, controversial politics and all this stuff and that way it goes in a different direction say to coda pills game which is more say pulpy and more about hey we gotta escape these bad guys this is more about the intrigue and the uh political nature of everything i feel as if um it could be sort of paced for me for me at least a little uh longer and let that really let those beats hit but at the moment uh, there is glimmers of brilliance and it's really nice and I think probably the main thing that could use polishing would be gameplay for me uh, which I feel like Aaron just ran out of time for which is it's fine because I mean I, the game is finished that's that's the awesome thing about it it'll just be things like uh, UI polishing and balancing that I'm sure Aaron already knows about um, that would make it a lot more uh, it would actually make it a lot more pleasant an experience uh and more meaty an experience if the gameplay was uh balanced so the essence is there there's just some things that i feel draw back um but i know erin already knows about this stuff and can improve it because erin is great and i i see a lot of potential here and it looks awesome and thank you for making it it's uh, awesome every gift's a gift every game's a gift and you put a lot of hard work in it into it and it's all very evident and, and I will say, but from watching this, I feel like what I'm going to like about this and maybe even your next game, All the King's Men, what I, what I think would be good to focus on your strength for me, what I feel is like the sort of passionate world building, the strong sort of fullness of the tension between, I would focus on tension between characters. That's what I would love to see. Um, uh, just your world building, your your sense of being able to craft <coughs> craft an overall picture, and then just being careful. I would say to be careful about where to place your plot beats and stuff. But I think that was just the nature of the rush. I already know you're an author. You know all this stuff. The the placing of the plot beats and getting the momentum right. That's that takes some editing. And and this was uh, this was down to the line. So I understand that you can do better. Um, but what's here is very promising and I'm looking forward to all the King's men and what this will become. And yeah, thank you for making this, Aaron. You're awesome. Cool.